Hello, Jason from Fireway here again. Today we're gonna to install a thermal head on a statics generator. Before we start the install, I wanna point out there are many types of activation heads available, each with specific features based on specific applications. Let's quickly go through these different options here. Aluminum is the standard material, but if you have an application where corrosion could be a concern, we recommend the brass thermal head. A good example would be for marine application. The next type of heads are thermally activated. They have a temperature rating, which means that once the enclosed space gets to the specified temperature, the generator will automatically activate to suppress the fire. A small round sticker displaying the specific rating is attached to the top of these thermal heads. Currently, we offer three different temperature ratings, 70, 95, and 123 degrees C. Another type of activation head is the thermal manual version. It comes both with a temperature rating and a manual pull pin override option. Do not pull the pin on this device unless you want the generator to activate and have the aerosol discharge to suppress a fire. Lastly, there are manually operated heads that feature only a manual pull pin option without the temperature rating. And like the previous activation head I just showed you, if you pull this pin, the aerosol will discharge. For the activation heads with the manual pull, there is the option to orient the pull pin in a horizontal or vertical direction. And again, I can't stress this enough. If you pull the pin, the unit will discharge. Now that we know the different types of activation heads, let's open the box and start installing a thermal manual activation head onto a generator. Here I'm gonna install an aluminum 70C temperature rated thermal head with the manual pull pin option. And just a quick note, before we start this installation, the activation head should be the last thing you install on the generator after it is mounted in the bracket on the wall or ceiling. Now I'm ready to install the thermal manual activated head. To start, screw the thermal head into the top of the aerosol generator and be careful not to over tighten or cross thread. No tools are needed to tighten the thermal head. Hand tightening will be sufficient. There is a hole on the unit which should be fully or partially visible after screwing on the thermal head. If you're using the additional pull cable as an option, you can connect that at this time. Here's what it looks like attached to an activation head. As always, if you have any questions about this video or you want to see additional videos, please comment below or go to our YouTube channel, Fireway Inc. Otherwise, please email us at technical at We'll see you next time.